Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Mix 1041. It's uh, the Cleveland Boat Center Charity of Choice. We're joined once again by Stacy Greenwood, Cleveland Boat Center. And uh, Stacy, time to meet another one of our charities. I'm so excited. Excited yeah. to learn more myself about this program. Well, uh, for those of you who are uh, just joining us, uh, we have been doing this the past few weeks. Charity of Choice with Cleveland Boat Center. Stacy, really came to you strongly that you wanted to make a real impact in, in, uh, in so many uh, lives and charities. Tell me how you're doing it. So what we wanted to do is, I realize there's a lot of um, nonprofits, charities that are in our town that I myself didn't know a lot about and didn't seem to get um, the light shine, shone, shone, shine, 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 whatever, you know. Yeah. Anyway. I wanted to highlight some of the some of those nonprofits and a manufacturer of ours, Correct Craft, had done something similar where they had a contest to to show what different charities were in their mm -hmm. area and let the town vote. So we decided to sponsor a contest um, where mm -hmm. we feature one charity per week for nine weeks and let the community vote on their favorite charity, therefore charity of choice. And we're at Cleveland Boat Center is going to give a cash prize. And uh, three of them, really. Uh, right. Top prize, $2,500. Second prize at uh, $1,500. Well, Corinne, tell me, I mean, we seems like we all know it, but people new to the community, tell us about the Caring Place overall. Absolutely. So we are a ministry here in um, the cleveland Barley County community, and our mission is to provide the basic resources and opportunities that our neighbors need. So we really want to address poverty in a holistic way um, through, you know, getting to know our neighbors, partnering with them, walking with them. Um, and we do that through several different programs. We have our family food pantry, our clothing closet. We have comprehensive case management that helps from anything from, you know, basic financial assistance, all the way through at an intensive group that we offer that folks go through for 16 weeks. We've got a couple of folks now going through that group uh, who've experienced homelessness, and they said, you know, I really wish that I'd had this information years ago, like it would have made such an impact, and it is making an impact now. Um, and then our other program are, uh, is our SAT pack program, and it is one that's, you know, near and dear to a lot of hearts, mine as well. Um, and it is our program to battle, um, to kind of fight back against childhood food insecurity. We have a lot of children in our community, actually over 3,000, that um, don't have the security of knowing that there's enough food over the weekend. Mm. Somebody's not going to have to go without. That's what they're looking at. When they go home on Friday from school and they have access to school meals, free lunches, free breakfast, that when they go home on the weekend, somebody's going to have to do without that resource. Um, somebody's going to be hungry. It might be them, it might be their parent, but somebody's going to be hungry. And so our SAT pack program partners with our schools to meet that need for food over the weekend. And I, I believe, as you told me off the air before coming, that's really what you want mm -hmm. this to be about. Yes, is the so sack this, pack. yeah, we're going to highlight that program for this charity of choice event. Stacy, uh, David Jenkins, our longtime yes. friend, passed yes. away, and the family, Kay and 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 Willie and Don and all of them, uh, asked that uh, m memorials be made to the yes. sack pack program yeah. uh, when David passed away. It, you know, you come out of education. It's uh, it's amazing, Stacy, that right here that there are so many children who they don't know if they're going to have enough food over the weekend. Yeah. Right. You got me choked up there, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> you I'm caught sorry. me off yeah. guard. Yeah. Um, yes, I do come from an education background and I was just ignorant myself to how many people mm -hmm. were hungry without yeah. even, you know, we just take it for granted. If yeah. we go in and we grab something out of our refrigerator and we think, mm -hmm. oh, I want an apple, I want a Coke, whatever, uh, mm -hmm. and that these yeah. kids go home, like you said, and they're just kind of waiting yes. till Monday rolls back around. Yeah. So. One, of the, yeah. one of the most impactful thing we had um, from Charleston Elementary, actually, a student, they did some thank you cards. The school, our schools are great. And so Charleston, they wanted to do some thank you cards. And so they had their students do this. And it's a, a, a picture that a child drew of an empty refrigerator mm. and completely empty refrigerator. Mm. And they said, but now that I have sack pack and there was a little sack pack, there was another refrigerator with a little sack pack on the shelf. And it says, now I've got food when I go mm. home. Mm. And so, and you just, 
you know, that's not, our kids need our support always. Um, that's, you know, we, I think we have a communal responsibility um, to make sure that our kids are supported and have every opportunity. And so um, so it's important that, you know, if this is a way that we can do that to give those teachers, we hear often from teachers that it helps alleviate their worry right. so that they're not concerned about that child over the weekend because, you know, otherwise some of our teachers are pulling in their own pocket often mm-hmm. are yeah. pulling in their own pocket. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and so this way that that teacher has this resource to be able to know that that child child has access to that food um, and it's good healthy meals that are going home over the weekend. Now, yeah. I think y'all even operated during COVID, like when the we schools did. have been mm-hmm. shut down, right? How did that work? Yeah, so we partnered, um, you know, I, I contacted Dr. Cash and said, you know, let us know what to do, you know, when schools first shut down, because we're like, how do we still make sure the kids, and they also were obviously concerned with that. Um, and so we started supplying the sack packs to their distribution points they had over around the community. So if it was a child they recognized or just that child requested, or they felt like they might have an extra need, they pass the sack packs to them then. Um, we allow a lot of flexibility to our schools to make those determinations for eligibility uh, and then uh, when they did the bus deliveries we sent our sack packs went on the buses and okay. so they went out with the meals um, and then we've continued so we actually never did not have but I think we had maybe one t- what two weeks it was two weeks during the transition before we got things set up and rolling that we didn't have sack pack services but other than that we mm-hmm. kept flowing nice. the entire time so yeah, and over, yeah almost uh, almost 600 students a week are served through that program mm-hmm. currently mm-hmm. so amazing uh well corinne if you will give us information how or i should say how people can find out more about the caring place absolutely so um obviously we're on all the social media feeds but you can go to our website as well so the caring place online.org got to get both that t-h-e the and the online part in there so the caring place online.org so um so but you'll find us there with all the information about our various programs eligibility contact information and you can always just give us a call 472-4414 Stacy, thanks again to you and Cleveland Boat yes. Center. It's been a wonderful uh, several weeks here of talking about it. But vote, vote, vote. Vote. Yes. That's right. And vote. Mm-hmm. And, I'm just kidding. And vote. <laughs> vote. No, she's not kidding. <laughs> Cleveland Boat Center. And we appreciate uh, her and her family so much. All right. Absolutely. How do you do it? You go vote. If you want to vote for the Caring Place, go to mymix1041.com. Top uh, three will get the... Uh, part of that cash prize there, mymix1041.com. And make sure and thank Cleveland Boat Center for doing this. All right, we're back in just a moment.